In this video, we're going to look at solving exponential equations that don't have a common base. We found out if the base is in common, we can just set the exponents equal. If they don't have a common base, we can try and find one by finding the prime factorization of the base. And then we'll be able to use an old exponent property that says if we have an exponent raised to an exponent, we simply have to multiply those exponents together. Well, now our exponents are going to be a little more involved, so when doing this, we may have to distribute to be sure we're multiplying by the entire exponent, not just the first term. So, for example, we have 27 to the 2x equals 9. Those are not the same base. So what we'll do is we'll look at 27 and find its prime factorization. Divided by 3 is 9, divided by 3 is 3, divided by 3 is 1. 27 is 3 to the 3rd power, and then there's still a 2x on the outside of that, which is equal to 9, which we can find its prime factorization as well by dividing by 3, and dividing by 3 again, 9 is 3 to the 2nd power. Notice we've almost got that common base we want. We just have to combine, just have to combine those exponents, and we can do that by multiplying. So we have 3 to the 6x equals 3 to the 2nd power. Now we have that common base we wanted. With the common base, the exponents must be equal. 6x must equal 2. Quickly solve by dividing by 6, and we find out x is equal to the reduced fraction, 1 3rd. Let's try another example. Here we've got 8 to the 2x minus 4 equals 16 to the x plus 3. Let's rewrite this. Hopefully, we'll get the same base if we do the prime factorization trick. Well, 8 divided by 2 is 4, 4 divided by 2 is 2, and 2 divided by 2 is 1, which means the 8 is really 2 to the 3rd power. And then it still has a 2x minus 4 on the outside. 16 also has a prime factorization. Divide by 2 is 8, divide by 2 is 4, divide by 2 is 2, divide by 2 is 1. 16 is 2 to the 4th. So the 16 is 2 to the 4th, and there's still the x plus 3 on it. Again, we're going to have to multiply our exponents together. We've got that common base we want, but we want to simplify a bit. And as we multiply, we just, we don't want to just multiply the 3 by the first term. We want to multiply it by the entire exponent. It's going to distribute through. So we have 2 to the 3 times 2 is 6x, minus 3 times 4 is 12, equals 2 to the 4x, distributing again, plus 12. Now we notice we've got that common base that we wanted. Both have a base of 2, which means the exponents must be the same. 6x minus 12 must be equal to the 4x plus 12. We now have a linear equation we can quickly solve to find our solution. First, get the variable on one side by subtracting 4x from both. 2x minus 12 is equal to 12. Adding 12 to both sides, 2x is equal to 24. And finally, dividing both sides by 2, we find out x is equal to 12. We found the solution for the variable that makes this equation into a true equation. If we don't have the common base we want to set the exponents equal, we will try and find a common base using the prime factorization of the numbers. If we do end up with that common base, then we can solve the exponential equation. 